Hello friends and fans, welcome back to Johnny HD Gaming and today we are playing Civ 5, A Brave New World this is of course a new DLC and I'm very excited to try it out because there are new additions to I think the culture, tourism and trade so I'm going to try out those aspects of the game so I'm going to set up a new game and in our previous playthrough I played as Sweden and did the one city challenge I think I'm going to keep the rest of the um, options the same I like to have 16 city states alright but I'm going to pick a new Sith and I'm going to pick um, I think Morocco because there is a lot of benefits to trading to improvements in trading we get like a little bit more gold and culture now there are some other new civilizations like this guy over here so for this guy it's pretty powerful I think it's very warlike very military style because you gain a free technology when you conquer a city that is controlled by the owner so this is a very powerful civilization alright so this is something that I might give it a try although I don't really play a very harsh military style the other one that I really like is actually Poland Casimir because I get a free social policy when I advance the next era so I think that should give me like um, 4 to 5 policies which is something like a policy tree so this would be very powerful if I'm trying to go for a I think cultural win alright what else? Um, Venice? Venice is very interesting because we cannot gain settlers or annex cities but we can actually have a merchant of Venice that can purchase populated cities which means that the merchant of Venice that we get as a great people can get control of city states so that's pretty powerful as Venice and this is Indonesia the tricky part of using Indonesia is that the cities have to be found on continents other than your main capital I think to gain the two unique luxury resources so what this means is that you're gonna pick a map I think you should not pick Pangea maybe, maybe pick um, something else that has a little bit more land um, I actually mean um, like small bits of land here and there so that's something to think about now what else um, I think yep Portugal Portugal is a very nice city so a very nice civilization if you engage in lo a lot of trade I'm not too sure if it's a land trade or a sea trade but that's very nice seems like you can get a lot of gold you can buy a lot of stuff and buy over the uh, legions of city-states I think in this new DLC the allegiance of city-states is very important because I think this gives you a little bit more voting power in I think the United Nations um, not really United Nations but there is a world congress where you can decide on things together so that's very nice and I think Brazil Brazil is very nice we get, you get more tourism during the golden ages which means that certain wonders that give you extended golden age will be very important and you might want to use your great people to create a golden age so that's something to think about now the Shoshone I think Shoshone is um, interesting because they get a combat bonus when they're fighting within their own territory so I'm starting to think that the Shoshone might be very nice if you are very defensive for example you play a one city challenge for example so that might be something to think about Korea is something that we have gotten in the earlier DLC so that's not from a brave new world so I think that's about it and I'm gonna go back up and play as Morocco alright so Pangea Prince difficulty I'm not too sure whether this is a good idea but I'm gonna give it a try Prince difficulty and hope that everything goes well alright so the advanced setup I think everything else is pretty standard legendary start 
Um, I think I'm going to go for strategic balance. That might make a little bit more sense. Alright, all the wins, policy saving, I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow it as usual. I'm gonna uncheck the one city challenge, quick combat, quick quick combat and quick movement. So I think that's all the stuff that should be done. So I'm gonna start the game. Alright, so that's Morocco for us. And um, we get the cavalry. And I think, well, no, I'm not too sure what this is, but it should be a unique Your building that's pretty nice. Okay. So that's Morocco. Very, very nice picture. And, still, and I'm going to begin my journey as um, Ahmad El Mansur. So I hope I pronounced that correctly. If not, um, do bear with me. Alright, so I think I'm going to start over here because we get some really nice sugar well let me explore a little I think we're okay the marble and sheep move very nice but I like to have access to to the dyes I think this is the mountain so the mountain is very nice but I will lose access to the river so I think I'm going to compromise by setting up right over here Marrakesh I think Alright so I'm going to choose production I'm going to go for Alright so I think I, I want to take a look at the science first I think calendar is pretty important right? Yep it requires calendar for me to take advantage of all the stuff around me so I'm going to go for calendar first pottery calendar Caravan will be very nice. But I don't think it's the most important right now. The mausoleum is very nice because we get a hundred gold for each person, great person that's extend expanded. Alright, and I think we can make good use of the water mill. Alright, so I'm gonna go for Kalanda and Perhaps I think riding, then the wheel. Well, okay, so let's keep it as such for now and maybe tweak it around later. So I think, give a moment, I think just double check. 26 turns to get the calendar, so there's no point to rush getting the worker. I'm gonna get the monument perhaps. Alright, I'm gonna get the scout first to help me find people to trade with. Then get the monument. In the meantime, I'm gonna use my warrior to scout out the area a little bit more. Alright, so we found a natural wonder. Very nice, it's called the Grand Mesa. I have a good intention, sorry, a good mind of letting this guy. Explore, automate. Alright, so we got some ruins, very very nice. So we have the culture overview. Oh wow, so we met Spain, Isabella. Very nice. We are neutral. This means that Spain is very near us and I like to take the ruins before Spain. Can we actually do that? Come on guys. It would be a disappointment to get to let Spain take the ruins although you're good friends but I like the ruins alright so let's take a look at culture overview it allows us to track and manage our culture and tourism okay so I'm not too sure how that works out so I think this is the artifact that is in the palace Wow, okay. So I think you can swap great works. Alright, so I think we will get some advice as we go along in the game. Ok, 
Okay, so that's unfortunate. Spain has upgraded to Spearman. That's very, very unfortunate. Wow, okay, so I think this is Spain. I think that's the borders of Spain over there. So I'm gonna grow a little and get a settler. Come here and pressure Spain. Because I have the intention of actually expanding my cities a little bit more. So that I can get nearer to the other civilizations and initiate more trading. Well, okay, that's wine. I see another potential area for me to establish a new city. A new natural wonder, very nice. I'm gonna let Spain handle the barbarians because I'm a little upset. The what? Beringer creator? I think this is new from the new DLC. Alright, you can automate. Alright, so we have finally got some ruins of our own, I think. I'm still a little bit bitter over the fact that Spain has gotten the ruins that I want. Okay. Location of nearby encampments, that's not really something that I want a lot. Oh wow, but we have found a city-state. So that's something to be happy about, I guess. Shrine. Shrine would be nice. Um, okay, so there's the water. I'm actually going to explore this way. So we've got pottery. Wow, okay. So I'm gonna go and uh, ninja the ruins while leaving these guys alone. Alright, so I think I'm gonna get the shrine for the faith. That seems pretty useful. The greenery is very important as well because I don't think we have a lot of food because this is the desert. So I'm gonna go for greenery first, then the shrine. Um, Archer? Interesting, so it seems like our guys were upgraded. Alright, so I'm, on my apologies, I wasn't paying too much attention. I did not notice that we have gotten an upgrade from the ruins. But it's all very good, it makes, makes us a little bit more powerful. Alright, so in 10 turns, which means that I will want to queue up a worker after the monument. Okay, so we've gotten the map and let's go to Florence while leaving these guys alone once again. Alright, so I think there's only the wine over there that's not very ideal. I've met the city state of Jerusalem. Alright, so we've gotten 8 faith. Very nice, very very nice. Alright, so let's get to Florence and hope to get more good stuff. I think this area over here would be a very nice place to have a city. Some food, marble. One, two, three. I think I can get access to the food over here. Two, three, but not the marble. Perhaps I can found a city somewhere here or here. That would be quite nice, although I can come here to get the stone. Here would be good actually. However, Isabella might be really upset because I will be right next to her. Next to her capital in fact. Alright, so I'm gonna go for Florence. Yep, we are the first to meet with them. Sure. Very nice. Okay, at the moment we are the last. Although, I think we are fine. Oh wow, so we have met 
console Maria I of Portugal. Very nice. So you're the queen of Portugal. Nice, nice. I'm very interested to see how the culture things thing plays out. It's the first time I've tried the culture stuff. Okay, that's very nice goal. Then we meet the Spanish spearman. I think can we? Okay, so I think the spearmen were somewhere here, and they were fighting the barbarians. Um, well, once again, I'm still a little bitter, so I'm hoping that the barbarians take the spearmen out. Oh wow! So what's this? Portugal. Portugal's here. So Portugal and Spain are sort of right next to each other. Okay. Five more turns from to Calander. You're protecting Florence. We have met this guy. This guy's name is O. Not too sure where it is in real life. Mm. Seriously, man, do they just take the ruins that I want? That I covert? That's very, very rude of them. Wow, the scout is actually walking around my territory. That's upsetting. Alright, anyway, let's pick a social policy. We can look at ideology, but we can only use them once we have chosen. I think our factory or enter the modern era so that's not something that we can have access at the moment so what's interesting is that you know um, the social policies right now is pretty important because let's take a look at the technology tree for example if we would like to build the pyramids for example it says that it requires liberty so the new DLC actually imposes some sort of um, constraints where you have to have the necessary social policy before getting access to the world wonders that you want. What I think is ironic is that the pyramids over here requires li liberty while tradition, you see the icon here is actually the pyramid so anyway I think I'm gonna pick Liberty because I would want to expand a lot in this game I'm gonna try out the expansion kind of strategy okay so let's continue continue exploring I think I'm gonna get my archer to come back via this route Oh, wow, so my archer is getting hit. Um, that's not ideal because I do not suppose the Spanish guys would save me. Okay, there is really nothing here and I've got to get my archer back. Okay, I think my archer is going to be killed. Lisbon. Capital city. Alright, so let's hope that my guys can survive. Come on, Spain. Land a hand, maybe? Um, rough terrain. I think I'm going to get the open terrain because it seems pretty open so I'm going to take this guy out get the XP this one is pretty nice have lots of wine around them I have still no idea how the guys are so far ahead wow okay so there's a barbarian they finally right next to us can we buy something buy a scout Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna send my warrior back this time round. 
you guys can heal because I do not want you guys to get killed. Alright, so let's do this, damage them while I think two of them fight is fight each other. So let's come here. I would really like the Great Library although I suspect I do not have the necessary production to win the race okay um, not social policy is the demographics we have a lot of population crop you but our manufactured goods is um, not too nice we do not actually have the hammers because the area around us do not have very good production let's take a look at the yield icons yep so as you can see very little hammers lots of growth so that's not very ideal to chase wonders so I'm not gonna give it a try I'm gonna pass on the wonders until I can find a city that can give me an itch wow Seriously, they do not fight each other. Um, really? Is this going to be a very short playthrough? Okay, so construction improvement rate is improved. Uh, sorry, improvement rate is increased, and a worker appears near the capital. Um. I like representation, I like to get it as early as possible. But I can see the benefits of getting Republic, getting the extra hammers. So I'm gonna get the extra hammer. Because I can get the collective rule soon and get the settler next. So that seemed a little worthwhile. In addition, I was worried that, you know, if my new worker spawns outside the city instead of inside, then what's going to happen is I'm going to lose my worker. So I did not want that to happen. Alright, so we're now not the last Sith in the game. So that's very comforting. Yep, once again, that's Isabella. So our archer is nearly, nearly okay. Um, let's attack you. Can we? Oh, yep, we can. Now let's come back. Because we need to protect our worker. Who will be ready in 3 turns. Alright guys, make our way back. We should be safe. Let's take them out because I think we're up on a hill so we have a defensive bonus right so we have riding and let's take the open terrain bonus and take them out and do spin a service now green renix right I think the library is good yep we have no chance in getting the great library 27 turns, 10 turns difference, that's quite a lot. That's quite a lot actually. But I'm gonna go for the library, I don't think I can make it. So I'm gonna aut automate my worker because I think what's important is to get mining to get production bronze working as well there are a lot of stuff that I really want and it's making very difficult for me to come to a decision Archery is good, the Temple of Artemis is very nice but it's not critical so I'm not gonna rush it 
having animal husbandry is always very nice so I'm gonna go animal husbandry then masonry bronze working so let's hope that it plays out so we're gonna heal you over here you're gonna heal okay so I think I hook up some of these resources over here I think they are full so all our archers are ready now ready to protect ourselves from the incoming guys over there so let's be on alert if they ever come close we're gonna bombard them from the city and use the archers of course Marrakesh has grown very very nice I'm starting to think that the greenery is not very necessary because we have a lot of food around the area but you know um, since we have started on it we might as well continue alright so we can construct a caravan then we can trade with someone else I think the nearest person to trade would be Barcelona and that would be Spain however my concern is that I don't think Barcelona is their first city right I think the capital city is over here so let's scout so that's the capital city alright so as I was saying I think training in Spain is viable but it's very unsafe because there are barbarians over here and my caravans may get ambushed and taken away from me so that's something that I'm mindful of but at the same time I'm getting a little desperate because I'm right at the bottom okay so let's continue to explore that's Madrid so Madrid is the capital city of Spain alright come on guys if you guys ever step on my dice you guys gonna um, hopefully get slaughtered by me alright so we got some horses that's very nice yep I think I'm gonna initiate trade with Madrid as soon as I can can I purchase a caravan 390 gold I think once I sell my sugar which I think I'm gonna do right now uh, wow okay so you have some gold so what about um, sugar for all your gold huh okay so can we have friendship really that's unfortunate so it seems like there is a change whereby we can no longer take all of the gold away from them so we get a settler a free settler or we can get a improved construction rate I think the settler might have some value so I'm gonna take it that I'm gonna come back and protect my settler right so you will recommend over here and I agree actually because I can get access to the Grand Mesa although Spain would really really hate me very much alright let's take a look at the yield icons nothing much over here it seems it's just very boring alright so I think I'm gonna come over here Except embassy, sure, I'll take that. You want a great profit? So do I, actually. Okay, come on down. Oh wow, okay, I'm gonna, I need to protect my guys over there. Seems like a terrible idea to have, you know, a city over here. I'm not too sure if Spain would trade with me because if I found a city right next to them, they would be very upset. I mean, I know I would be. If let's say Spain found a city in the middle, sm smack in the middle over here, I'll be really upset. So the desert has very little value.
but here is actually very nice because you can get access to a lot of stuff 